Volvo's durable and dependable cutting units are designed to handle your fairways day in, day out. But even with the best care and maintenance, there are going to be times when they need an overhaul. There are some specialized tools that'll help you do the job. Toro has packaged these in a real cutting unit rebuild kit, available from K-Line Industries. Having the right manuals is also a must. The most up-to-date manuals for Toro equipment and accessories can be downloaded for free from Toro.com. The manuals will give you step-by-step -step instructions for removal, adjustment, and assembly of your cutting units, but here are some things to keep in mind. Before you take the unit apart, make sure that you document current settings for things like the bed knife adjustment spacers and height of cut. When the job is finished, you can go back to these settings as a good starting point, then adjust as needed. Remove the bed bar assembly and inspect the bushings in the side plates for wear or damage. Replace them as needed. When you disassemble the cutting unit, remember that reel bearing and grease seals are press fit on the cutting reel shaft. They should remain in place when removing the cutting reel. Carefully slide the reel assembly out with bearings, grease seals, and splined inserts still in place. Then inspect all the pieces and service them as required. Before you reassemble the cutting unit, clean the side plates and other cutting unit components. Inspect for wear or damage and replace as necessary. When you're reassembling the cutting unit, pay close attention to the grease seals and bearings. Start by applying a thin coat of grease to the outside of all seals and bearings to ease reel installation. When you reinstall the reel, use a bearing square to keep the inner and outer bearing races aligned. Otherwise, binding may occur and the bearings may be damaged. Slide the reel back into place, making sure that the bearing is fully seated into the right-hand side plate. When you reinstall the bed bar, apply anti-seize lubricant to the threads and shoulder area of each bed bar pivot bolt. Install the bolts and nylon washers and torque to the proper specifications. Be careful not to over-tighten the bed bar pivot nuts. You should be able to spin the nylon washers freely. If you can't, the bolt is too tight. Always follow the manual's instructions when replacing and tightening the various bolts, nuts, and screws to the cutting unit. Torque everything to the proper tolerances and be sure not to over-tighten. Finally, make sure the cutting unit is square. Tighten the reel bearing adjuster nut just enough to eliminate any end play. Be careful not to put any side load on the reel bearing. That could reduce the life of the bearing. After you've reassembled the cutting unit, be sure to adjust all the components to their proper settings. Remember that you can extend the time between overhauls by keeping your cutting units in great shape on a daily basis. Be sure to follow all the maintenance and adjustment recommendations in your operator and service manuals. Some can also be found right on your machine. Staying on top of maintenance will save you time in the long run and keep your fairways looking great.